Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to another Pro Evolution Soccer 2020 video. Now I'm going to show you how to install a bunch of mods that's going to drastically improve your gameplay on the PC. So, let's start off, Cider. Okay, so this is the most important one and you probably want to add this to your favourites. I will leave a links in the description to all the, all the URLs, so all these links here, I'll leave a link in the description. So this is one you definitely have to add to your favorites because it's always updating as well. So I'm going to just download the cider. Okay, so that's just down that. Um, the other one I'm going to download is the Evo web patch. So all we need to do is scroll down here. And click the download for the all-in-one version then click download and just wait for that whilst that's downloading what we can do then is also download the graphics ultimate mod patch will also be doing the stadium server as well okay so the evo web patch is now downloaded so what we'll download next is the graphics ultimate mod patch there's a few um, installs here so a few patches to install so to reveal the hidden content we just need to like, like the post I've already liked it but it's as you come back to a post you have to unlike it and then re-like it. It's a bit daft, but I can understand why they do it. So there we go. I can download the the all-in-one. This is a huge file, one gigabyte. So I'm just gonna save that one as well. Scroll down a little bit further. And we've got three more updates here. These are needed if you want the uh the turf textures for some of the latest stadiums, so City of Manchester, the Etihad Stadium, the Bernabeu, Signal Iduna Park as well. So, gonna download the fix ad boards. Okay, so we've got the ultimate mod, got the fix ad boards. Download the Etihad or City of Manchester. Didn't realize they changed the name of the stadium. Probably got tired of being trolled. Okay, so once you got that one, just download this one as well. And you may come here and then maybe more fixes by the time you see this video. Or there might just be one brand new all in one patch. It will vary from time to time, but at the minute, that's just the, the three updates for the time being. Okay, so we've got all our um, our things either downloaded or being downloaded. Actually, I didn't download the stadium server module. So for the stadium server, we need to do scroll all the way down, all the way down to like the fifth page and click this download v 1.0. So click this one as well. Okay, once you get get here, just click this button up here. On the top right hand corner, it says download, click that. And that will start download the, downloading the stadium server. So we've got a lot of stuff to install, a lot of unzipping to do. So, that's almost finished as well, but we can go ahead and install the cider while that downloads. So just literally click this little button here and click show in folder. So here's all of our downloads. This one here is what's being downloaded. So when it's finished downloading, we'll get to see this one. So the first thing we're going to do is extract the cider. There we go. Cider 2.0. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all this. Okay, copy all the files in that. 
and go to my directory where Pez is. So it's here and just paste it directly into there. And I'd recommend doing the same because then it just makes everything else easier as I found out to my uh, detriment before. So once we've put the cider in, that's all good to go. It's pretty straightforward. There's not too much to do there. Um, the next thing we'll do is install the Evo web patch. So this gives you all your team names. So I'm just going to go to the show, show and folder, but just extract this one here. In fact, I can delete that cider now. I've copied that across. So extract here the Evo web patch. Okay. So it tells you everything you've got in that, but it does say to add the live C uh, live PK folder from the download to your CIDR folder. So we need to put that in our CIDR folder and put these in to the um, CIDR.ne. So we'll do that first. So I'll just show you where to do that. So you literally just copy that, copy that. Go to your PES, go to your CIDR.ne, look for the CPKs and just paste them in there. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. So just where that CPK ball root was, you just paste in the other links as well. So that's part one of that done. Um, like I said here, next thing you need to do is add the live CP, uh, live PK folder. So if we go back to our downloads, a lot of jumping around, I would recommend adding your um, your eFootball PES 2020 folder to the, the sort of quick link up here. And to do that, all you need to do is just literally drag the folder up here into there and it adds it to quick access. So you can literally just, it's basically pinned there the whole time so you can find it easily. You can just jump back and forth very, very quickly. So live PK, copy that baby and go to your eFootball PES 2020 folder and paste it in there. Okay, once that's done, the last thing it tells okay, the last thing it tells us to do is to go and add the edit file to this location here. So I'm gonna go to downloads, copy this one. Then we need to go to Documents, Konami, eFootball PES 2020. If you've got anything in this folder, delete it out. Go to this number here. Your number will differ every single time. Go to the save and just paste it in here. That basically is the uh, the option file with all the players, etc. All that data. Okay, I think that's uh, that's pretty much it. So that's the Eva web done. Pretty straightforward. I don't think there's much much to explain that. So that's that one done. Eva web, bosh. So we've done cider. We've done Eva web. Now we're going to do the ultimate graphics mod all in one. We'll do this one first. This is important to do it in this order now. Extract here. Okay, then go into the graphics mod. And you can see here, copy all these to your main PES folder. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Just copy those three folders, go to my PES folder, and paste. I 
Okay, once that's done, we can go back to my downloads folder. Next stage is to unzip or extract the stadium server. So extract here. Okay, so we've got two folders, content and modules. Copy that. Go back to your eFootball folder and paste. Okay. So if you look at your content, you're going to see a stadium server here with different types of stadiums. But first, before we do that, I want to finish off extracting the other files. Let's go back to your downloads. Now we can extract the Burnabout ad boards. We'll do that next. So all we need to do is copy this content folder. To here and paste and replace the files back to your downloads I'm going to clear this up a little bit so we've done this one the burnabout now we're going to do the etihad extract here then we're going to double click on this one Double click on this one, copy these two to our main PES folder again, just paste them in. Replace the files in the destination. Voila. Okay, so far so good. And now we just need to navigate back to our downloads folder and unzip the final one. That's this one here. Ultimate fixes, SIP and fixes. Ultimate SIP and fixes. There we go. Copy those. Go to your folder, your PES folder, and paste. Wait for that to finish. Replace the files. Now, what you do need to do is add this to your cider.ini file. It should still have open. If you haven't opened it, it's here. So just make sure you open that one. And then we put the cpk.root folder uh, file at the top. And the lure module. So you see the lure modules here. Just pop it at the bottom there. Okay. Now what we need to do is go back to our stadium server module. I think it might be in here. If not, I'm like I said, I'm going to leave uh, all the text for you guys. Um, Okay, I'm not going to read through that to try and find it because I know it's here. So this is what we need. Like I said, this will be in the description. So all the code you'll need, you'll ever need, will be in the description. Put the little module in there. This one actually should be up here. Sorry, did make a mistake of that. There we go. Okay, so make sure the graphics mods first and then your stadium server second. That's the side I've done with. You can file, click save and close that one. Now what we want to do is there's still a few bits left in this and this is going to take the most explaining I think. So what we want to do is go to your content folder within your eFootball folder. Go to stadium server. Now we've got these stadiums here as you can see. 
And what we've got here is map teams dot text. Okay. So what we've got here, if I just bring up this here, so we've got this path here. So it's team ID, stadium ID. Let me just move that up there a little bit. Move this down a bit. Followed by the stadium name. So this is what it appears in the game. So it's going to appear in the game. And then the stadium path. Um, and this is obviously very, very important. So I have to change this one here because it's not the Bernabeu, it's the Santiago Bernabeu. So that the path is what it's looking at here. If you don't get that right, it will not find the stadium. Hopefully that makes sense. This bit at the end, you don't really need to worry about. This just tells you the team. Oops, if I don't make a complete hash of it. Again, this one is now wrong. This is called the city of Manchester. So we just need to change that to the city of Manchester. So that is literally just looking at the teams or the stadium names in this little file or folders and just putting it's just basically the path okay so it has to match the folder name click on that that was not a good idea okay if they got these hashes that means it's going to turn that stadium off so if you want to enable it you have to delete those out so make sure you delete those hashtags out so we've got the city of Manchester and the Santiago Bernabeu. Now what you're going to probably ask is what the hell are these numbers, which is what I was thinking. So first up, the team ID. So to find out the team ID, we need to go to Pez Master. Okay, so all you need to do is go to Google. Literally just type in Pez Master. Then we can type in the team. So let's say Real Madrid. Okay, and you're thinking, oh my God, where's where's the team number? It's right here, right up here. This is your team ID, so 109. If we go back to the text file, 109. Okay, now you're gonna think, where the hell do you get the 021 from? <laughs> okay, so back into your stadium server folder. If you go into the Santiago Bernabeu, common, render, thumbnail, stadium and then all of a sudden zero two one so that there relates to the zero two one here simple it's really simple when you know how like i said this is the name of the stadium how it appears in in game in the game so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a couple more just to show you how to do it from scratch so let's look at anfield so the first thing you do, common, render, thumbnail, stadium. Okay, so we've got the we've got the uh, stadium ID. We need the team ID. So we go to Pez Master. Get rid of that. Type in Liverpool. Scum. <laughs> I'm just joking, Liverpool fans. I'm not jealous or butthurt or anything like that. So their their team ID is one zero three. So we put 103, which is the team ID. Like I said, I would definitely write this down, this bit here, because then you know which order it's got to go in. Then we need the stadium ID. So if we go back, it's 033. Then how do we want Anfield to look in game? Just joking. I'm just going to put <laughs> Anfield. <laughs> then we need to do the path. So if we go back to the stadium server, the path is the folder name. So that is Anfield. That is it. That's all you have to do. If you want to make it look fancy and you don't know who that belongs to, you can literally put hashtag Liverpool. Okay, so once we've got our three stadiums, just click File and click Save. Okay, so what we want to do now is launch our CIDR. So that is in our eFootball PES 2020 folder. So it's right here, CIDR.exe. 
that brings up this little box here so you know it's there what I would recommend doing is probably creating a shortcut so just right mouse click and send to desktop create a shortcut and same for your PEZ send to desktop ah oh, there's the other one couldn't find it for a second there so we've got our two two shortcuts so launch inside it it's already open and then launch your Pro Evolution Soccer but you won't see the name of the stadiums in this list like this what you need to do is set it to home ground day or night doesn't matter they have different effects um, we'll try yeah we'll try night time go on we're up against Manchester United and there we are ladies and gents the lovely roof of Anfield okay I do apologize about the low frames per second it's just OBS not agreeing with my um, with me playing PES at the same time but you can get a feel for it I mean there is a few bugs where players walk through the stadium like this but you know it is to be expected we're we're importing stadiums that shouldn't exist into a game but it doesn't really matter about that because when it's on the pitch is where it really matters and counts I mean I skip the uh, the intro most of the time to be fair I didn't watch watch this but I'm just doing it for the for your sake just so you can see that Anfield is looking absolutely spectacular and I just want to say thank you on behalf of the entire PES community to all those that make mods maybe you weren't involved in these mods in this video but just generally everyone um, you know uh, just a massive thank you from me and the community I'm sure I speak on behalf of the community with the the work that you guys do so thank you very much and you can see here look at how good uh, Anfield looks and that and that turf mod by Chunny that is absolutely incredible incredible bit of work so thank you very much for that okay now I'm gonna as soon as it gets to the kickoff stage I'm gonna switch over to the Bernabeu so you get an idea of what that looks like as well okay and here we have the Santiago Bernabeu with Real Madrid up against Barcelona and this stadium doesn't have any bugs as far as I'm aware the players come out normally but look at that look at the stadium it looks so impressive The work that these modders do is, is really incredible. And I just love this stadium. Especially when you see it sort of panned out just after the uh, the player selections from both angles. There's two angles. It looks absolutely amazing. Players just warming up. Getting ready for the game. Giving the fans a wave and a clap. And that's all for me ladies and gents. I will be bringing out a showcase where I'm going to display the Santiago Bernabeu, um, the city of Manchester, and Anfield stadiums all being played in. So be sure to join me for that. Until then, thank you for joining me. If you've got any questions about the tutorial, or if you've got any, if you struggle with any sort of steps, let me know in the comments, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to help you out. Thanks for all for joining me, and I hope to catch you again in the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.